Now let's go through and do an example search in psych articles. Let's say we need to do a paper on the impacts of body image on teen girls. So there's a couple of ways to do it, but using the advanced search, we can actually uh, start with typing in body image. Type in body image and we'll leave it set to searching anywhere, although we could specify where in the document in the record specifically we want to search, but we'll keep it as anywhere so it'll search every single place. Uh, but we also want to uh, narrow it down. So if we scroll down in the advanced, we can see that there's record type, methodology, supplemental data, language, age group, and population. So I did mention that we're, we want to search for the impact of body image on teen girls. So from the age group area, we would actually choose adolescence uh, for teens. And then we can also choose population as being female. So we can just start with that. So we have body image. Uh, we're searching in the age group of adolescents and we're searching in population female. And with that, we get the results uh, back, which are 1,183 uh, that have body image in the document somewhere, uh, deal with the age group of adolescents, the teens, and has a population set as female. Now we can additionally do some more searching, uh, narrowing, filtering, because uh, 1,100 is a lot of records to, to search through. So we can do, we've done the search and now we can do some additional filtering. Scrolling down, I'm going to choose a subject here. I want to narrow it down. It only lists the first several most popular results from the search uh, items that have been returned. I'm going to click more. And then here I'm going to click on subject in the heading here so that it'll sort the results alphabetically by subject from A to Z. I could click on subject to reverse it from Z to A, alphabetization, but I'm going to click again so it's A to Z. And then I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to look for body image in the subject. Here it is, we click include. The reason why is our initial search looked for the word body image anywhere in the record item. But now we want to make sure that one of the main subjects, not just a passing reference, but one of the main subjects of the uh, record item, the article, is actually on body image. And here we can see an indication that uh, then will only 120 documents uh, returned have that body image as a subject. So we will go from 1,183 to just 120. So I'm going to apply that and wait for the results to filter. And so now we have 120 items in the result uh, because we filtered for the subject of body image. So we know it's one of the things, uh, main things that's discussed, not just uh, passing reference to body image. We can also additionally scroll down and continue to use some of the narrowing filters because 120 is manageable, but we can also use classification. So in APA, the classification is like the primary subject matter of the article. So subject is, it is a topic. It's maybe one of the main topics, but it's not necessarily the main topic. So in classification, we can choose here. Uh, several are listed, but we can again click more. Uh, and then we have the classifications here. I can click here uh, to sort right now. It's sorted by the hit count, but we can click here and go through them alphabetically. And so we can see that if we scroll down, there's a number of ones, developmental psychology, criminal behavior, and juvenile delinquency. So we wanted to, I'm um, writing a paper on the impact of body image on teen girls, but um, there might be specific sub-focus or uh, you know, uh, some other aspect of 
body image that I'm interested in. It could be related to eating disorders. If so, I can click to choose to focus, narrow down the 128, uh, 120 results down to just 44, or I can keep scrolling and there might be an additional, uh, a different subject that I'm interested in. So, can look here, we can see psychosocial and personality development. That's another possibility. Uh, going back up, we can also see uh, that behavior disorders and antisocial behaviors, there are four items with that tag. So we can do some additional uh, filtering and sorting. So I'm just gonna stick with eating disorders. Uh, so I'm gonna go with that. And now we've gone from the 120 down to just 44 results. So now we did the initial search with body image uh, as well as limiting the age group to adolescence and the population to female. And then I did, we did some additional filtering where we set the subject as body image to make sure it's one of the main topics and then uh, also set the classification to eating disorders. And so now we have 44 results which are far more manageable and we can go through them. We can additionally go through and do some additional filtering, whether it's changing the publication date so that we have a specific range, like a specific the past 10 years, etc. We could also scroll down and choose other things like the methodology. So we could choose uh, empirical studies, quantitative studies. We can see that empirical studies of the results, uh, 42 of them are empirical studies. So they're studies based on fact and research. Uh, we can also see that 28 of them are quantitative studies specifically. So if I click that, um, then we apply it, then we can see that of all of the results, the over slightly over 1,000 initial results, we now have 28 results uh, that specifically deal with body image, eating disorders, quantitative study, uh, that's the topic uh, of the research in the article, and uh, it's the age group of teenage females. And remember, when we get the first results back, by default, we have it set to relevance, but we could also tell it to show us the most recent article first. Uh, this can be handy if you've done the search before and you just want to see what the latest, uh, newest updates might be. Okay, and then looking at the search results here, uh, we can definitely click through and read each one individually. Sometimes the Im information provided by the title and some of the clip excerpts in the short uh, result listing might be enough. But we can also, instead of clicking through to the whole article, we can click through, I mean, we can click here to show abstract. So it'll show it within the search results. So we can easily, quickly read the review see what uh, the summary is for this particular article, see what some of the additional subject tags are uh, that are this particular article has been tagged with and, and have additional information including location, etc. cetera. Uh, so we can do this and then we could easily compare and look at the different articles that we're interested in. At that time, we can also here click to select and then we can do it for a bunch of them and we can generate the site or we can email uh, the item to ourselves. And again, remember when we click through and go to, to the actual record, uh, we can look at the full text as a PDF. We have the table of contents. We can quickly uh, go through and click through to the particular entry, but we also have the references listing here which are all the other articles uh, that this particular one cites in itself. Uh, so that can lead to additional uh, potentially relevant uh, resources. And then remember on the right hand side, uh, we have related items. We also have other documents with shared references. So if there are other, uh, uh, if there are other articles that use the same references, in it that this article did, then most likely that article is probably on a similar or same subject. Maybe not, it doesn't use all of the citations, maybe only a few, but this might be one easy way to just quickly find all the other articles that talk about some aspect uh, that's shared with this article. 
And remember the related items here. Uh, so body mistrust, bridges, interoceptive awareness, and eating disorder symptoms. So there's some articles that might be pretty good. And remember at the bottom, you can show more related items. And then also we can search with the indexing terms. So these are some of the terms that have been included uh, subjects in this article. We can click them and then do a search based on them and quickly. So again, using the searching, filtering and exploring options to find articles. And lastly, <clears throat> remember we can always search uh, by author because in an academic setting, it's highly likely that an author has written other articles or done research, uh, additional research on the same subject or related subject matters. And now we can see uh, these are the other articles in psych article that this particular author has written and they deal with eating disorder, diet. Uh, so some of these might be relevant and useful and handy for your research.